Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. We are down here in Melbourne, Florida, and we are cutting curbs. All those people, all that talk about cutting curbs. Well, let me show you. We are cutting curbs, and the reason that we're cutting curbs is because between the sidewalk and the curb, water cannot escape. And so it just floods all through this area. All through the area, it floods. And you can actually see when they try to mow the yard here with, this is the HOA, and when they try to mow the yard, you can see that green strip right through there. You see that? That is where the tractor gets stuck. So what we're doing is we're cutting the curb. And the reason why is between the sidewalk and the street, the water cannot escape. You can see we've already made a couple of cuts here. We're just making little tiny V cuts. And can you see all that water? That water's not draining down. Can you see that? It doesn't drain down. And that's because underneath of that is just like solid concrete. So we've made several cuts. Here's another one. And if you look at our little V, looks really good. We've got really nice uh, cuts and you can actually see the water flowing out. It comes right out. This is totally saturated. It doesn't look like it, but it is totally saturated. And now we're giving that water a place to go by letting it come through the curb and out in here to the storm drain, to the city curb. This might actually solve this entire yard's problem because the backfill here is really bad. Let me see if I can show you some backfill. I don't know, Chuck's dug all these up. Yeah, you can see it right here. Can you see the regular soil? Let me get out of the shade. You see the regular soil and then you see this. And this is, that's just a rock hard substance and water cannot get through there. So we're gonna make some cuts. I'm gonna set the camera up here a couple seconds here. We're gonna set it up and you guys can take a look. I'm just setting up the camera, so hang in there. And we're also gonna make a video. We'll post that later on this afternoon or tomorrow so you can see the whole thing in case you tuned in late. I think you can see that. Chuck, will you just step right there where I can so bright out here. Step right on, the, on that expansion. Put your foot on the expansion. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, good. All right, let's fire up this saw. Chuck's gonna run some water to keep this thing cool. And we're gonna make some cuts, not yet. Once we made that little cut, we just take the pry bar, give it one little tap, and lift it right out. You can see that that's perfect. Let's move on to the next one. So sorry for the delay. <laughs> we have to reset up our cameras, get everything to the next spot. That should do it. It's so bright, you guys, I can't really see the screen. So hopefully I'm on that expansion. Yep, okay. Chuck's already moved everything. What's interesting is so many people comment and say, oh, you can't do that. Well, you know what? This homeowner, he actually got permission from the HOA for us to go ahead and make these cuts so you can see what we're doing.
Perfect. I'm gonna let Chuck do the next one. Go ahead and pull that hose down there. Are we still? Put your foot up there, Chuck. Looking good, okay. So did you notice how I did that one even, even left? A really dramatic cut. Okay, come on down here and start it. <clears throat> we always start, we always start with the existing expansion because even though there's an expansion there, there's still concrete that's down here needs to be cut. this one out this one's a little little narrow but it's gonna work just fine that's it one little pop you see how easy that pops up actually that's a great cut great cut so as that water you know again when they even running his sprinklers this morning it just flooded and came over the curbs so as that water goes down into the topsoil it's going to come up and just flood right out through here and this is the first part of this project so as we go on to the next step of this project, if this works, because honestly it may not work, but hopefully it does. And if it does, we're gonna go ahead and tunnel those sidewalks and hook up all the downspouts and bring them out here to the curb. I'm gonna do, well you do this one. I'll do that last one. What? Remember, we're live. <laughs> Look and see if we're in the picture. Move your foot into it again. Can you see that, you guys? <laughs> I hope you can. <laughs> okay, we're ready. Every time. 
So we have one more to do. Let's move that down and I'll move the camera. One more to do. And as you look down through there, you can see we've cut uh, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're doing nine cuts, nine cuts all together. Yeah, put your foot over there for me again. Move it into the picture. Move it. I can't see it come this way. Sorry, I just, I stood so bright. Okay, move it down a little bit. Perfect. Okay, we're ready to fire it up. Now, on this one, the homeowner actually chiseled this himself to see if my idea would work. And he was so happy that you know, just that little bit of chiseling, the water that was standing in that yard poured out through here. So we're on the right track and it's just kind of evidence of things that will work and won't work. But let's go ahead and cut this real quick. Give me one second. I'm actually gonna make a video for the regular video. We'll do that at the same time. So on this, on this cut right here, you see where it's been chiseled? This is from the homeowner. He wanted to test it himself because he was, wasn't sure if my idea would work. So he came out here with a cold chisel and a hammer and he just broke a little bit of that curb off. And you know what? He said the water just poured out of here. And this area here, when he runs the sprinklers now, it's dry, it works good. So I know that as we make this cut down here, that it's going to work. Okay. So on this cut, because he chiseled it, I went a little bit wider, kind of missed it down here at the end, but I'll bet you it pops right out. Chuck put that primer on this side, come stand straight at it, side of it over here, and let's just hit it real hard one time. Get down in the middle. One more time. Uh, there we go. So it looks like we need to clean that out a little bit. See if you can hit it one more time. This is because he had it already chiseled. Really, you gotta get right in that crack right there, otherwise it's not gonna work. There it goes, perfect, good. Let's lift that out. Nice. So a little deep, but it'll still work good. And that's the basics of making a V-cut in the half round curve. You know, nobody else does that. All these other companies, they don't even, they don't even core the curve, let alone try to do something in the half V this is a half round uh, curb, and we figured that out, I don't know, 25 years ago up in Charlotte. So, let me pull the camera out of here.
So we've made, let's count, I, mean, I don't even know how many cuts we made. I think we estimated doing like six of them, but there's more. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cuts. And remember what's happening, I'll turn it around here, is this house has a tremendous amount of roof, the downspouts, and they're just splashing out. And what they're doing is they're getting trapped. A lot of it gets trapped on that side, even though it looks like there's a pretty good hill, the water's down underground and it traps, and you could actually see evidence of it. See how that water's coming across where it just floods up out of the sod? and just comes across right through here. Those sprinklers ran about, I don't know, two hours ago, right when we pulled up around eight o'clock or maybe 7.30, but they were just, they just flooded across this, the whole sidewalk. So water from that roof, and you can see this is a big house. It's a huge roof. These are typical Florida homes. I and mean, we've got five, 6,000 square feet of roof and it's a sheet, sheet water, it just runs off. They've directed it down to the ground with downspouts, which is great. And some of them do come up to pop-ups, but regardless, water just floods through this area, comes across the walk. When it rains, <laughs> this section is a swamp. You step on it, you sink. That's how thick it is. So hopefully we've solved that problem and we'll put together the video later on. I hope that you watch that. Haven't been live for a while, so you kind of enjoy this today. Let me turn this camera around if I can. It's so bright here in Florida, you guys. It's hard to explain it. Switch camera, here we go. <laughs> and you can see the sweat. It's probably 88 degrees and it's what, 10 o'clock? 9.30, 10 o'clock? It's hot here. And um, it's been really dry, but there was so much water in that ground as we dug those holes that it I know we're on the right track. So, hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.